Remove the wheel, use a 21 millimeter socket. If you have a locking lug nut, you wanna take that off before on the ground by hand and take the other lug nuts off. Remove the wheel. Take this nut off. If you have an Allen wrench that fits in the stud to prevent it from spinning, you can do that and use a 17 millimeter wrench. But sometimes the easier thing to do is use some locking pliers. Go behind here and lock the stud from spinning. And use a 17 millimeter socket and take this nut off. Just like that. Take this bolt off right here. Use a 12 millimeter socket. And you can move the brake hose out of the way and also the wheel speed sensor harness, just like that. And there's a bracket right here. Just pull this bracket so you have a little more slack for the wheel speed sensor. Then use a 22 millimeter socket and a 22 millimeter wrench and take these bolts out. And you're gonna separate the lower part of the strut from the knuckle and just move this over. You wanna make sure there's no tension on the brake hose or the wheel speed. And you wanna make sure that the CV boot does not pull out. So if you have to, you can use a bungee cord and just keep it strapped to the vehicle just so it doesn't come out too far. Before we take the wipers off, the wiper arms off, you wanna mark on the windshield where the wiper is so that you can put it back together in the same location when it's all set. You can either use a piece of masking tape or some type of crayon that's gonna wash off the windshield afterwards. You can take this cap off. If you need to, you can use a screwdriver, just get underneath here, but you might be able to just pull this off, just like that. Use a 14 millimeter socket, take this nut off. And just grab the arm, rock it back and forth, and slide it off. And now do the same with the other one. Underneath here, there's some little clips. You kind of got to push them in a little bit, rotate it out. Just push it, push it in and rotate it. You could probably use a small flat blade screwdriver if you can't push it. Disconnect it over here. And just slide the cowl right up. When you're doing the driver's side, you will have to take the wiper, motor, and transmission out. And it's fairly simple. Just disconnect the connector right there. Just put on that little tab. And then there's all these bolts on the side. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take those out. And grab the transmission and slide it out. Take a 14 millimeter socket. We're gonna break all these loose first. They're pretty tight. Then use a 14 millimeter socket and take them out the rest of the way. Before you take the last one out, make sure you grab the coil spring. And just slide it out. When you're installing the new strut, make sure the mount, these two arrows, are facing the front of the strut. You want to install it that way. Now keep some of the nuts in your hand and line this up underneath. Get the studs lined up. And get some of the nuts and start started. And just leave it loose like that. Get a couple turns. That's good like that. Now you can tuck, take the bungee cord off and slide the knuckle in position. It's just gonna be easier to move the strut around if you leave those top nuts loose. And take the bolt, get the bolt lined up. the nuts on. Just snug these up first. 
Now torque this to 155 foot-pounds. Now we're going to line the wheel speed sensor up, put this bracket right in here, get that lined up. And then this little tab is going to go through this hole right there. Get that in there first with that lined up. Then take the brake hose and line that mounting bracket up and put the bolt in and snug it down. good and put the link back in put the nut on and you can either use a wrench and an allen socket and tighten it up that way or you can do it the same way you removed it tighten that down first and then torque this to 55 foot-pounds now with the vehicle lowered you can tighten these nuts down and then torque these to 59 foot-pounds. And take the wiper transmission, slide that back in position. Put the bolts in and tighten down the bolts. And plug the connector in. And slide the cowl in position. There's tabs underneath here, so those have to go under while this part stays on top of the windshield. And push it down. And reconnect the sides. And just push it into place. And put the wipers back on. Make sure they're in the right position where you marked it. Put the nuts on. And snug those down. Take the cap, put the cap back on. Do the same on the other one. Put the wheel up. And put the lug nuts on. Now torque the lug nuts to 77 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. After you've done this job, make sure you bring the vehicle to a local shop to have it aligned. You don't want to have premature tire wear.